Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how to tone match something in real time. Now, the advantage to using the tone match in real time is that you get a huge, huge improvement in accuracy versus tone matching a recording. And the reason is you're sending the exact same signal to the axe effects and to whatever device you're tone matching. In this case, I'm tone matching another monitor, but you can extend this lesson to a, a real amp just by replacing the output of the motto with the output from a mic preamp. So the first thing we need to do is set up our basic tone matching preset. So we go in, I'm starting with a blank preset here. We go into the grid. The first thing we need to do is to put the effects loop block in the first column. And the reason we're doing that is so that we can send a signal to the device that we're tone matching. So I go in here, select effects loop, hit enter, and now we're sending a signal from output to left to the input of the device that we're tone matching. Make sure on the front panel that the output to level knob is turned all the way up. So you've got a cable now running from output to left to the input of the device you're tone matching. Then you would take a cable from the output of the device we're tone matching to input to left on the axe effects. Make sure in your I.O. menu that your input to mode right here is left only. Now the next thing we need to do is set up our basic tone matching chain. First thing we're going to do is put an amp block in here, then a tone matching block, and because I can't stand everything totally dry, I just put a little reverb in here. It covers up my sloppy playing. Alright, and that's all there is to it. Now, the other thing I do, which makes things a lot easier, is I use this foot switch here. This is just a simple latching foot switch. This happens to be a Vox that came with some amp I got. I don't know, probably an AC30 or something. I have this foot switch mapped to extern control 12. Right there, pedal. So now I'm going to go into my layout, select the tone match block, hit edit, and I am going to attach that foot switch to ref solo. Hit enter, select extern 12, exit done. What that does is now when I hit the pedal, you see we switch between the, the reference solo source and the axe effects itself. That allows us to audition the device we're tone matching simply with a push of our foot. Now you don't need the pedal, you could do it just by manually turning this parameter off and on, but it's a lot easier if you use the, the switch. Alright, now the device I'm tone matching, I'm tone matching a preset called Soldano Solo. Okay, well that's obviously an SLO 100. So what I need to do is then go into the amp block. It's, since it's a new preset, it's 59 base guy. That's, we can't match a 59 baseman to a Soldano SL 100. So what we need to do is go in here and there we go. There's a Solo 100 lead. That's what it sounds like with, with no tone matching, obviously, that sounds terrible. You go in, make sure uh, master, non, it's a master volume amp, so we want our master to be somewhere between 3 and 6. It's at 5 right now, it's a good starting point, we'll just leave it there. Um, we're going to leave all our tone controls and drive at the default settings for now. The one thing I do recommend when matching other modelers is to go into the speaker page and change your low frequency resonance to about 120 to 125. This is because most other modelers use what's 
a, a basically a, a generic low frequency EQ and they tend to all be around 100 to 125. This will give you better accuracy in the low frequency matching. The other things, the 2.2 for the Q, they, tend, they typically actually use about 2, which is a little low compared to a real speaker, but so we'll just drop that and the resonance is fine where it is. So the, um, we're ready to actually do a match now. So we go into the tone match block, hit edit, back to the first page, and then what we do is we simply press X, then we press Y. Now both channels are acquiring simultaneously here. So I'm just going to play some stuff and you'll see the spectrums update in real time. The important thing is to try to get a dense um, frequency spectrum into both acquisition engines here such that we can excite as many frequencies as possible. And the way to do that is just to play all, you know, big thick cores up and down the neck to try to excite as many frequencies as possible. So I like to play some stuff way up here. And then I do a thing called Cliff's Boogie, which is, is a stupid little lick that goes. Now, when you're holding that last chord, you hit enter, and what that does is that locks the spectrums and does the computation. So now we have a tone match. If I hit my foot switch here, now we're listening to the, the reference tone. Now we'll go back to the axe effects. Well, they sound almost identical. Now, the impo uh, one important thing I have to mention is whatever you're matching, make sure you turn off all the effects. Don't have any delay, reverb, chorus, flanger. Just you want just raw amp tone. So, so once you've got you, this is a preliminary tone match. Now, what you want to do is do some gain matching. And how I do that is I just roll the volume back until the amp cleans up. So we'll go to the device we're matching. So I've rolled, I've rolled the volume back on this guitar to about, I would say about three to four. And I play lightly. And you can hear it's, it's on the edge of breakup. Now I switch to the Axe Effects model. And you can hear it's cleaner. Back. That means the Axe Effects model needs a little more gain. Well, that's pretty simple. We just go in here and to the drive, turn the drive up a bit. Switch over. Need a little bit more gain. That gain. Feels almost like the exact same amount of gain now. So once you've done that, you redo your tone match. And the reason you do that is the tone matching is a little bit dependent upon gain. So once you get the gain matched, which is a lot easier to do if it sounds the same, you redo the tone match. So we just go in now and do our stupid little riffs. Then I hit enter there to to latch the data and match it. And go back and forth between the two. And as you can hear, sounds almost identical.